I'm going to reveal to you five things that DIYers need that are also used by the pros. And there's also something under here that absolutely needs to go. And I have a bonus item at the end of this video that I'll reveal to you that if you decide to get one, you will not regret it at all. Now, before we get started, I do have one thing I need to let you know about. I purchase everything you're going to see here with my own money. And these are things that I use all the time when I'm doing DIY projects. That being said, there are links down below for all of these items that do help me out if you use them. So thank you in advance if you do. And first on the list is this countersink bit from Amana Tools. Now this tool not only pre-drills, but it countersinks at the same time, saving you a lot of time on your next project. And we all know that if you don't pre-drill when you're next to the edge of a piece of wood, it's more prone to split. And this thing does a beautiful job at eliminating all that. And this metal collar ensures that every time you drill a hole, and a countersink that it is absolutely perfect every single time. Pick up one of these to get better quality results and save a bunch of time on your next project. Now this next tool is inexpensive and there are very, very expensive name brand tools like this that you can buy, but this is a machinist square. What I like to use this for is make sure that all my tools are dialed in so they're cutting exactly at a 90 degree angle and that everything is spaced correctly. This is one thing that every DIYer can do before they start a project to make sure that their cuts come out nice, clean, and accurate. More accurate cuts will guarantee better quality and overall construction will be easier if everything lines up perfectly. And one of the best ways to do that is use one of these cheap machinist squares to make sure that everything is perfect before you even start. This mask is also a lifesaver, literally. Now, what I like about this mask is it's relatively inexpensive, it's light and easy to wear, and it actually works very, very well. On top of that, you can get replacement filters that are fairly cheap, and if you're like me and you don't have a shop with great dust collection or you're working in a dusty area, it's always a good idea to have some sort of backup like a mask just to protect yourself. Now there's a lot of nail pullers on the market, but what I love about this one is it's titanium, so it's super lightweight and it is super strong. There are many times when I need to pull up a nail, pry something apart, get a piece of epoxy off a of mold, and this thing comes to the rescue every single time. Don't get the flimsy ones that are gonna break and bend every time you go to use them. Get this lightweight, titanium version that is super strong and will never let you down. And here's the one thing that needs to go, the CA glue and blue tape trick. I actually don't even have any blue tape because I don't use it anymore. Instead, get you a nice roll of double-sided tape. This tape from Hippie Crafter is specifically made for woodworking. It's got incredible strength, it's not messy, it's easy to use, and a roll like this will last you a long time and save you a bunch of money over the blue tape and CA glue method. So if you're sticking a couple of boards together for templating or whatever other reason you need to, use double-sided tape and get rid of the blue tape and CA glue. And this is the bonus item. It's a saw stop. This comes in a lot of different models and I guarantee you if you spend the extra money on this, you'll not only enjoy the great safety features which actually work, but you're getting a high quality saw that makes accurate, repeatable cuts every single time. Thanks for watching.